Hi there, this is Mark from Ink Block Creations and just an update on the Iron Man hand. I'm trying to make the glove rigid kind of thing. Um, this was just a prototype, this was just an experiment uh, on this one. But I'll be working on this one. Now it all started off with using alginate and moulding hands but the problem with the hands is the fingers hadn't lined up correctly if you see the two fingers on the left are pretty close to each other and we look on this hand it's totally totally different so what I done was I made a clay mock up um, and then I made a mould and plaster from the hand just gave me this, I've spray painted it with some paint just to highlight the imperfections on it I mean it's not too bad but I'm not happy with it so plan B is to scrap this mould that scrap the two hands and use the hands for like just doing the fingers if I do the moulding of the fingers I can do the fingers with it so the idea was to try and make a uniform pair of hands so I experimented with um, easy flow plastic it's a 50-50 mix and before I go any further on the video you must wear a respirator for this or have a lot of fresh air now when I was doing this I painted quite a lot on it but I put my hand in with a, a pair of gloves um, it can get pretty warm, um, it can be extremely dangerous as well so I tried a resin on it but I realised I couldn't get my hand out so this is just a test piece so it's, it's basically scrapped move on to this thick woolly glove what I did is put my hand in and I just done a finger at a time and the thumb the thumbs quite rigid and it's quite rounded. The reason I didn't do it on the one go is because I didn't want a big mess. So I'm just going to keep my hands open now and resin the palm area. And then what I'll do is I'll do the right hand with the same idea. And then I'll mould from there. What this will do is it'll give me a bigger mould. Because I realise this mould will just fit my hand and it's not big enough. So, I've gone off this idea of just moulding the hands, and this is getting scrapped. I'll just keep a hold of it, and then I'm just going to do a, basically, get the hands just right for doing a, a new mould of uh, oil-based clay. So this is step one, doing the glove. So I've got to resin the palm area and the back area uh, to get it all hard and then we'll take it from there as I say it's um, it can be dangerous to have it on your hand in resin so that's why I'm wearing gloves uh, sometimes you can put two on just to protect it because it can get warm I don't advise anybody I don't take any responsibility for anybody who, who attempts this it's, it's not um, basically don't try this at home <laughs> so this is just a, um, an idea so I'm trying to get a glove to resin it just to look like a, a hand and plus it's thicker as well this gives me a, a bigger um, oil based clay mould so on the next video I'll be attempting to do the rest of it it's just a base I'm just brushing it on to the plastic so it's just getting brushed on and I've got my respirator up there so make sure you wear a respirator and this, this is a thick glove as well so it doesn't penetrate as much um, and then you just gradually try to take your hand out which, which is quite hard but I'll just do it step by step see how I got on and I'll take it from there so I was going to mould the left hand and then do a mould so I'd have two of these a left and a right but I realised if 
I'll just get a hold of the back piece. So here's the back piece and it kind of lines up but the problem I've got with is get my hand in it into it it doesn't seem to pair up as good because I'm left with gaps a gap here and gaps here and it doesn't and it presses quite hard against the the hand so basically that that's it's basically scrap this idea scrapped I'll keep I'll keep a hold of this um, just as a template um, That's the, the back, the back of the hand mould. Um, what else? Oh, I'm missing something. No, I'm not missing something. Oh, the plaster cast, the plaster cast as well. So, this is a... Uh, what's it called again? <laughs> it's a uh, polycraft latex rubber. That's what it is. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. I'll, I mean, they're pretty, pretty hard. The thumbs nice. Uh, so just going to finish this off, and I'll do another video. Okay, thank you.